The question of the existence of the human soul has long been a topic of profound debate among philosophers, theologians, and scientists, spanning centuries and encompassing various cultures and disciplines. This enduring debate delves into the essence of human nature, consciousness, and the possibility of life after death, reflecting diverse perspectives and profound implications for our understanding of the self and the universe. Here are five reasons that support the notion that the human soul does exist. 1. Consciousness and Identity One of the strongest arguments for the existence of the soul comes from our experience of consciousness and personal identity. While physicalist theories attempt to explain consciousness as the product of physical interactions within the brain, they have to face the hard problem of consciousness. They have to explain how subjective experiences, which means explaining the qualitative and the subjective aspects of experiences that arise from physical processes, the persistence of personal identity, the sense of self that continues over time despite changes in our physical bodies, also poses a challenge to purely physicalist explanations. The concept of a soul can provide an explanation for these phenomena suggesting that there is an immaterial aspect to our being that accounts for consciousness and the continuity of personal identity over time. 2. Moral and Ethical Intuitions Many argue that our deep-seated intuitions about right and wrong, justice and human dignity point to the existence of a soul. These moral intuitions often extend beyond mere social or evolutionary explanations and suggest that there is something inherently valuable and significant about human life. This sense of moral value and the conviction that there are objective moral truths are often cited as evidence of a non-physical dimension to our existence, one that is connected to a universal moral order and is best understood through the concept of the soul. Three religious and philosophical traditions. Across cultures and throughout history, the belief in the soul has been nearly universal. This widespread belief is not proof of the soul's existence, but it suggests that the concept of the soul resonates with the human experience and has been used to explain aspects of our existence that are otherwise difficult to account for. Many religious and philosophical traditions offer sophisticated arguments for the soul, arguing that it is the seed of human dignity, the source of consciousness and free will, and the aspect of our being that connects us to the divine or the ultimate reality. 4. Experiences Beyond the Physical There are numerous reports of experiences that seem to transcend the physical limits of our bodies, such as near death, out of body, and profound mystical experiences. While these are subject to various interpretations and the evidence is not conclusive, they suggest the possibility of an aspect of human existence that is not bound to the physical body supporting the idea of a soul. 5. Limitations of Physicalism Physicalist explanations of human nature face several challenges, such as explaining the origin of life, the emergence of consciousness, and the basis of moral truths. These limitations suggest that a purely materialistic view of the universe may be insufficient to account for all aspects of reality. The concept of the soul provides a possible framework for understanding these phenomena that physicalism struggles to explain. In summary, it should be emphasized that the arguments for the soul's existence are rooted in philosophical and metaphysical reasoning rather than empirical science. As of now, there is no definitive scientific proof or empirical evidence that conclusively affirms the existence of the soul. Nonetheless, these arguments provide significant grounds for contemplating the existence of the soul as an intrinsic element of human nature, urging us to explore beyond materialistic understandings and consider deeper dimensions of consciousness and personal identity. Thanks for watching.